but she deserved this moment because so many people have doubted her. So many people have told her she's not deserving of everything she's gotten. People Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Of course, if this is not your first time, this is Raquel here with the Raw Raw Report. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's great. I am basically off of adrenaline high. So before we get started, let me go ahead and say, please, if you like to subscribe, like, comment, as well as share my content, of course, if you like it. So I have to talk or speak on tonight's game. The WNBA Finals with the Liberty and the Lynx has lived up to the hype. I don't care what no one says, it's living up to the hype. What an amazing series it's been. Like, an incredible series. Like, I don't care if you are not a fan of either one of these teams, they are still competing and it's real hoops. So I appreciate that. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and discuss this game because what a thriller. Every single game in this actual series has been a thriller. From the game one when the Liberty came out and I was like, oh, New York took a big lead and they were up by 18. And most of the game they were leading and they were cruising around and out, cruising away from the game. And I was just like, oh, well, they're going to win this easily, which we all suspected because I just thought that the Lynx weren't as good as the Liberty. So they were supposed to win it. Long story short, Liberty was like, Oh, we're not going to play up to par the entire game. So I turned away from the game and then I came back to just check the score in the fourth quarter. And I was like, why is this game so close? The game was so close that I was like, nah, Liberty not going to like really lose this game because they were up by 18. They were even up in the fourth quarter by enough where I was like, there's no way. But no, the Lynx is a team that doesn't go away. And why is that? Because they also have Nafisa Collier, Courtney Williams. McBride, they are literally never going to give up until that game hits 0-0. The clock has to hit 0-0, fourth quarter, end of the game before the Lynx give up. So they ended up actually coming back from an 18-point down league and winning that game, which was one of the biggest um, comebacks in WNBA history to come back from in the finals and win the game. Okay, so that was game one, and it was like, Shocker, ah, uh, oh my gosh. Game two, game two, kind of the same repeated story. The Liberty came out the gate. They were doing very good. They got up at one point at 17. But again, the Lynx are that team that just never gives up. They came back by the second quarter, the end of the quarter to go into the second half. They already had from a 17 point lead down to 10. So in that game, the Liberty once again, I'm like, how do you guys keep letting them come back in it? Well, one of the reasons is, and I'm just going to call out my girl for a second because I really love what she did tonight, but Sabrina Nescu has been starting off either really good and then she just disappeared in the second half, unfortunately. But it was a real reversal tonight and we're going to get to that game. So then the Liberty were up, but the Lynx, they just keep coming. They keep punching. They're not giving up. They're just never going to give up until the end of the game. But with that game, composure... At least the Liberty did pull it out, but the Liberty was sloppy. The Lynx weren't shooting great down a stretch. Both teams have demonstrated to me that they go through stretches where they just cannot shoot well, and it's just not good. It's kind of annoying, but that's not here now. Now let's go ahead and rewind to tonight's game, or fast forward to tonight's game. Tonight's game was amazing. Okay, you guys, I, uh, okay, first and foremost, I am a basketball fan. I love the game of basketball so when you have a game like this where it's just true passion true hoops you gotta respect what you're seeing and both of these teams are literally giving it their all so this time because the links were also at home home court advantage whenever you're on your home court floor you play a lot better you do things a lot easier they came out the gate firing you had so much for them just being on their like toes ready 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 they came out the gate Kind of saw it was going to be a blowout because they got up big and I was like, oh God, this series and their blowouts and like, but I was like, wait, both teams have done this drought and both teams have demonstrated that they don't know how to stay on their necks. They actually will get a big lead and lose it. And they did it. So what happened in this game was insane. First and foremost, let me give Nafisa Collier her flowers because as of right now, Nafisa Collier is has the most points in postseason playoff history, meaning nobody else, even Asia Wilson, has ever scored that many, as well as Di Diana Taurasi and anyone else. 
This girl's a baller. She's a hooper. She finished the game with 22 points, nine rebounds, five steals, and a block. She just wasn't as great down the stretch. People try to hate on Nafisa Collier. Y'all can't hate on her because in reality, Nafisa Collier actually has played the best basketball in the WNBA playoffs this season. Overall, she's played the best. Now, did she have bad games or points where she doesn't score as much? Yes. It's called being a basketball player. For some people who hate on her or try to act like she's not comparable to be considered a best player like Asia Wilson, you're lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Nafisa Collier is actually really good not just offensively but also on the defensive end which is where she helps out the links tremendously her five steals were very instrumental but also the uh, liberty have a problem with turnovers like they constantly turn over the ball very sloppy with the ball handling i do not like that they really have to get into uh, learning a better approach because that's literally how the Lynx keep going into the game. You toughen up on the defensive end with the Liberty and suddenly their ball handling gets bad and then they just take bad shots. But let's keep it positive. Okay, so then you had tonight's game where you literally just seen the McBride go off. McBride, Kayla McBride, listen, she's not getting enough respect. She does not get enough respect. First of all, she had five threes. I'm looking at my notes so you guys know. Five threes. She ended up with 19 points. The girl came out the gate shooting, stroking, doing a damn thing. You cannot not love what was happening. Uh, Courtney Williams was shooting. Not the best, but she was still shooting good. But I was just like super irritated because both Brianna Stewart started off bad as well as Sabrina Inescu. Both of them can't be bad. Both of y'all can't come out the gate and not shoot good. Like, it's like they take turns with this, but both of them started off so bad that the Liberty got down. Now, one of the things is Phoebish kept them into the game. That is their rookie. Technically, she's not a rookie, but she's a rookie. But that's neither here nor there. She has been great this entire series. Plus, she's not getting enough credit for just her rebounding, her inside presence. I think she's been doing great. Now, here's the crazy thing. So then in the second half... Brianna Stewart worked up, work, uh, woke up, pardon me. Brianna Stewart came out in the third quarter and was hooping. When I say she was hooping, she had like nine straight points on her own for the Liberty. She ended up in that quarter with 14 points. The game was like amazing. And Sabrina Inescu is all that's being talked about because Sabrina Inescu made some big shots in the end. But Brianna Stewart was who kept them in in the flow and brought them back she was actually the person who helped tie the game with her 14 points in the third quarter is what brought the liberty back <sighs> i cannot tell you enough how excited i was because again another close game nobody wants blowouts i like close games i like intensity of this nature because it's just what sports are supposed to be about anyways let's stick back on to the point so what happened in this game was they came down to the last minute. Um, I want to give out some credit to Bridget Car Carlton. She had 14 points, 4 rebounds. Alyssa, she had 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, Alyssa Smith, in case you guys don't know her last name. And then, like I said, Sabrina, again, she started off slow. Sabrina has either started off really hot coming out the gate, and then she just disappears. I need you to get that together, Sabrina Nescu. You are literally one of my favorite players, but for whatever reason in this series, you've been hot and cold, up and down, up and down. And she did not actually have the best of games. She came out and she had two points in the second quarter and then she had five points in the third quarter. But Sabrina gets the game ball. Why did Sabrina get the game ball? Because Sabrina hit two clutch shots in that fourth quarter. Not only did she hit two clutch shots, they both were logo shots. Like, how do you shoot bad all game and yet you have the... I don't want to say that word. Ballsy enough. Let's say ballsy enough to take those shots. I say that's Kobe mentality. If you guys know anything about Sabrina Nescu, Kobe was one of the, she was one of the first people that Kobe mentored. And all I could think of to myself was like, that's Kobe mentality in the sense that she was not playing good. Sabrina was not shooting good. Her shot wasn't going down. Yet she just kept pushing, kept pushing. And she didn't give up on her shot. She didn't give up on herself. People were hating on her like, oh, Sabrina gets all this hype. Why does Sabrina get all this hype? But this is why she was on second team. She's not that good. She's not that good. And then Sabrina was like, I heard y'all. But also, Sabrina's not just a scorer. You guys don't give her enough credit for what she does on other areas of the game. Sabrina had, um, she had 13 points to finish the game, but she also had five rebounds and she had six assists. 
Again, Sabrina is an overall player who does a lot more than just score. And she can also be good defensively. So don't just write Sabrina off just because she doesn't score a lot. Um, again, I still do think she needs to shoot better and she has to stop getting in these droughts because that's not good. And it's actually been very inconsistent with her scoring for this series in particular. But her six assists and playmaking is very instrumental to what helps the Liberty get these wins. And just that tenacity at the end to hit those big shots, to even take them after shooting back. Say what you want. You can't hate on my girl. The girl is not like anyone else. Plus, I will always be a Sabrina Inescu fan. Not just because of Kobe mentored her and that she's a big Kobe fan and things of that nature. I'm a Sabrina fan because Sabrina, prior to Caitlin Clark, she was the one they bullied. I've already said this in previous video, but she deserved this moment because so many people have doubted her. So many people have told her she's not deserving of everything she's gotten. People forget Sabrina Nescu got hurt her rookie season. It hurt her. It set her back. And granted, I know there was a lot of high expectations of Sabrina Nescu and people feel like she didn't meet the expectations, but did she not meet him or was it injuries played a part and then she got back into it things factored in this season she took it personal this season sabrina has stepped up so much for the liberty and she's proven all you doubters haters dolores wrong i'm so happy for sabrina to ask you you deserve it no one can take this moment away from you eat it up but don't forget job's not finished what a series congratulations to just making the finals amazing to both the Minnesota Lynx at Minnesota Lynx, sorry, as well as the Liberty. Like none of these games, even if they start off at their blowouts, neither team is just giving up. I love that. That's competitive. Plus, the refs aren't calling things too close, too soft. They're letting them play basketball. This is all I can ask for as an NBA, a WNBA fan, pardon me. What a game. What a game, you guys. If you guys are not tuning in to this series, you are missing one of the great best series. Now, granted, I know there were some Caitlin Clark fans who were like, ah, I'm not tuning in because they keep on blaming us. I get that, and I'm not even mad if you choose not to, but you guys are missing some great hoops. If you really like hoops, tune into this series. Game four is the game that if the Liberty win, they win the championship. So, Tune in, be there. Salute to you, Sabrina Nescu. Salute to you, Brianna Stewart. Salute to Feebish. Salute to Hamilton. Um, just salute to Nafisa Collier. Salute, salute to Courtney Williams, McBride. Because I'm going to say both of these teams have shown that this game ain't over until it's over. You know how they say game, what, what is it? It ain't over to the fat lady scene. They wait till the final minutes. Every game came down to the final minutes. And if you are a hoop fan, you are loving this because this is what I call real hoops. Anyways, you guys, leave me your comments. Did you guys watch the game? Did you guys see those shots by Sabrina and Eskew? I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it again because y'all got to see this because that is what I love. And that's why I even love Caitlin Clark because she can do that. For the people who are being nasty and saying Caitlin Clark can never, stop comparing these players. And first and foremost, before there was a Caitlin Clark being targeted, Sabrina Nescu was targeted. Sabrina Nescu was literally the that WNBA fans. Um, I won't get into that now. I'll get into that once the season is over. But yes, congratulations. This has been amazing. Lived up to the hype. Two best teams in the league are giving us it, giving us one of the best finals I've ever seen in WNBA history. But not only just that, I love this for the growth of the game. I love this for hoops in general. Any sport where it's competitive, I'm going to love it. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure if you guys haven't done so, subscribe, like, comment. And of course, like I said, always share it if you do like it. Um, but yeah, what an amazing game. Keeping it about hoops. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.